Hi guys, my name is Bonnie and my digital artifact for the subject game media industries this semester, if you didn't already know, is a TikTok account called Flash Game Nostalgia. On this account, I've been posting content related to the nostalgia of Flash games, some gameplay, and videos using popular sounds that I can relate to Flash games. I've posted about 16 videos so far in this style, as well as one video using my research and my analytical framework. I also have some scripts prepared for more of these educational style analytical TikToks and I'm in the process of recording these videos for the future. It's hard to grow a successful niche TikTok account within a few months and so I've struggled a bit with gaining followers and gaining engagement in my videos. Despite trying to incite conversation in the comments by asking questions relating to flash games in my posts, I only receive a couple of likes on my videos and occasional comment, which sometimes is not even related to the content but more the song choice or tagging a friend in the post. I've also tried to share a few of these TikToks on my Twitter, which also have very little engagement. Hopefully as I post more analytical TikToks soon, this could change as I grow my account more and include more interesting educational facts. I didn't receive too much feedback from the pitch other than some positive comments and emojis suggesting that my project idea was interesting and well thought out. My peer comments suggested that my analytical framework including nostalgia was well chosen for my project on flash games and so many of my TikToks have focused on this nostalgia aspect. My original plan was to post one to three TikToks a week and one analytical TikTok a fortnight. And so this has changed to where in the past two weeks I've been posting about one TikTok a day as I try to gain more engagement on my account and then start incorporating more educational content with the remaining time before the final assessment. A quick refresher on my analytical framework, it is made up of genre, technology and nostalgia. And so I've been researching the technology of Flash and its affordances, different Flash game genres and popularity, and nostalgia for retro games and Flash games. And so my research on my analytical framework is aiding my digital artifact as I begin to create educational content from these findings, and it's also helping me to look at my project. For example, looking at genre and seeing which TikToks and specific Flash games are most popular on my account. My analytical framework has also shaped my research as I've been able to use, for example, the concept of technology to look at the history of Adobe Flash and its relation to indie game design. In the remaining weeks of the semester, I will continue posting both entertaining and educational content on TikTok, gathering my research together and preparing all my work for the final report and digital artifacts summary. If you'd like to follow my DA, you can follow me on TikTok at Flash Game Nostalgia and I'll leave a link below where you can access it. Thanks for watching.